first tonight, local and state leaders are now taking action to prevent hooning and street takeovers. State representatives joined city leaders in Trotwood today to discuss new legislation that aims to tackle this dangerous behavior here in the Miami Valley as well as across the state of Ohio. City News reporter Riley Phillips joins us live now digging deeper into what this bill means for the state. State Representative Phil Plummer started working on this bill with Trotwood City leaders back in October to address the reckless behavior of Hooning. The bill is finally ready to be introduced to the legislature while the rubber marks are still fresh from a major street takeover that started in Trotwood and ended in Dayton. For Trotwood Mayor Mary McDonald, keeping the road safe is personal after her sister was hit by a car last year. She was hit by a reckless driver on Gettysburg. She was hit, she went in for surgery, surgery went sideways. She was in the hospital from August till now a nursing home at 55 years old. That's why she's ready to hold people who take part in hooning and other reckless behavior on the road accountable. This is not something that people should take lightly. This is something that jeopardizes each and every one of us out on the street. Mayor McDonald has been working with state representatives Phil Plummer and Andrea White and the Trotwood Police Chief to create a statewide approach to hooning. They came up with legislation that would enforce stricter penalties and provide local police departments access to state resources to help track people behind the wheel of these street takeovers. We're going to kind of be preemptive here. We'll see when they're coming to our communities. We'll deploy assets, license plate readers, cameras, we're going to be ready for them. Trotwood Police Chief Eric Wilson thinks this bill could be the key to preventing these events from happening. We have great laws the way they're written. They just didn't have any teeth to them. So hopefully with what the uh, representative plumber is saying now, the uh, legislators there in Columbus will put some teeth behind the rules that we have on books, plus introduce some new legislation. And while these state and city leaders are working to put an end to these dangerous street takeovers, they're also calling on the community to step up. It's about people choosing to have the courage to say, I'm going to get involved and make sure my family's not participating in this. I'm going to get involved and make sure I'm supporting these efforts. The bill would also have penalties for bystanders who are filming these street takeovers for, for profit. Plummer says the bill is ready and will hopefully be introduced within the next week. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 5 on 2.